Hello, wonderful people around the world, guys from America, Canada, UK, Kenya, Nigeria, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, Jamaica, Germany, Italy, and any other part of the world, guys. Welcome and welcome good. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is the Pioneering YouTube channel, and I am underscore priceless, guys. We're coming to live and direct from Abuja, Nigeria, West Africa, guys. Yes, wonderful people. Yes, guys, on today's episode, we are making reference to Wademaya, how Wademaya deceived black Americans and other Africans, other blacks of African descent, you know, to come back to Africa. Yes, wonderful people. You see, um, um, disclaimer, in this video, I am going to talk about Ghana and um, as a country, but we are making more reference to, we are alluding more, you know, reference to Wademaya because it was his um, narrative, fake narrative of um, Africa to the world and the ability to like, you know, be showing out um, content or interviews encouraging blacks, especially blacks, Americans or blacks of African descent in places like the Caribbean to come back to the motherland, to come back to the continent. Guys, um, if you can remember vividly, guys, if you are a follow up with the Maya or you are his subscriber or a, 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 a one who watches him on a constant basis, where the Maya has always have this, you know, jealous spirit in him. He's a guy that is full of envy, full of jealousy, full of, um, you know, uh, competitive nature because he believes if things is, is not about him, nobody deserves it. And guys, classically, that is how Ghanaians are wired. Sorry, we do apology. Disclaimer, guys, I'm not trying to say everybody in Ghana is jealous, has this dream, competitive driven, driven spirit. No, I have wonderful Ghanaians and we have wonderful Ghanaians that their content is Nigerian standard. They don't do any content if it is not Nigerian, especially like DJ Paco Rich. He's a Ghanaian. He's very good. His content is about Nigeria. He's trying to bridge the gap, letting his people from Ghana to know that Nigeria is a force. You cannot do away with Nigeria. You cannot fight Nigeria. You just can't do anyhow with Nigeria. Nigeria is the backbone of the black race. So he's calling on them. He's trying to bridge that gap and unity of purpose between Nigeria and Ghana. His content is purely on Nigeria. He doesn't do any content if it is not Nigerian-centric or nigerian centered content. But you see, when the Maya came into the limelight of public consciousness with the narrative that um, um, Africa to the world, and, um, but he has jettisoned and forgotten about that um, push for African to the world. Instead, now, where the Maya is busy running after celebrities, chasing them up and down, chasing public figures, chasing elected leaders, leaders that they don't work. It's not all of them, but most of them, they don't work for their people. That is a classic example of what where the Maya has been doing, guys. He has been, you know, running after leaders. Guys, first, it was from where the Maya's video that the Ghanaian government got the initiative and idea to, you know, come up with the, uh, or the year of return narrative. You see, Ghanaian government, I don't know why they don't have, um, you know, public researchers that they are renowned and famous or that they are in tune with the latest development when it comes to, you know, gathering information, facts that are factual in nature, are concrete, are solid. I don't know why. Because Ghana, they are moved with emotions mostly. Not all of them. They are moved, almost all of them are moved with emotions. And that is the difference between Ghana and Nigeria. Nigerians are not moved by emotions. Nigerians are moved by facts, truth. Yes, and that is why you, some people say Nigerians are rude, are arrogant. No, that is their nature. And that is how Nigerians are wired, are built. You cannot bring emotional issues easily to whip into a Nigerian and for them to believe. And that is why anything that a Nigerian is doing, he will tell you 
he must conquer. He has this resilient spirit. But Ghanaians, they always look for pity party stories, stories that will move and pull emotions. Hence, their government, under their foreign Department of Foreign Affairs, I think so, put up together the idea of the year of return, calling on Americans. They were championing on Americans to come back. Guys, do you know right now, those people that left their life, everything about themselves in America and Jamaica and other part of the world came back to Ghana. Do you know now they are regretting? They are regretting. They are calling on the government. They are calling on the public. Check, do your research. Videos are everywhere. Yes. And I was, that's why I say in this video partly, what the man lied to them, what the man deceived them into coming to Africa. That shows the truth, people. You cannot take up camera to be pushing narratives that you know is not tenable. My dear black Americans, my dear African people of um, descent, black people of descent, I want you to know anywhere you are in the world, you can make it. You don't need to come back to the motherland. You don't need to come back to the continent. And that is the classic example between what the Maya and Mawa. Mawa is a global trotter. Mawa goes around the world and anywhere he goes, he does not encourage people to come back to Africa. But he will tell you, if you want to come back, let it be from the deepest part of your soul that indeed you want to come back. But what the Maya will always find this way or means of trying to see that how he will sheepishly convince people to come to the motherland. People will end up selling all their life savings. They will come back to Africa and things will not work out. My dear American, black Americans, America is wonderful. America is your land. You don't need to run away from America. You can come to Africa. You can travel everywhere in the whole white world. But I'm telling you, you have built America. So why are you leaving America? Because somebody just decided to put on camera and is telling you to come back to Africa. In as much as I understand the dynamism and the power play of racism that is taking place in some part of America, but it is not all America. And all white people are not racist. So, why should someone just throw from Norway who will be campaigning, calling and compelling you guys to come back to the motherland, to come back to the motherland of Africa? America is your land, my dear black Americans. Many of them guys, they sold their had any money, they sold houses, they come back to, to Ghana and everything is gone. It's gone. When they came to Ghana, you can see Ghanaians started skyrocketing prices of things. Standard of living skyrocketed. To them, Ghana as a country, guys, Ghana as a country, they were doing that, they want to compete with Nigeria. To them, they thought by bringing in those people, trying to brainwash them into coming to Africa and settle in Ghana, they will, their economy, Ghanaian economy will boost and that's the only way for them to see how they will compete with Nigeria. Guy, grace no be your mate. Nigeria, have you ever seen where a Nigerian man has taken camera and he's calling black people around the world to come back to Nigeria? If you like, believe what media is telling you about Nigeria. If you like, believe it. If you like, come to Nigeria. But I assure you, once you come to Nigeria, I, I am telling you, you will not love to go back. Yes, and that shows the truth. And that is the classic example. Nigeria, Ghana, let me tell you, Nigeria is a country you cannot fight. Nigeria is God's project. In as much as we have challenges, admit it. Yes, we have challenges, guys. And one thing with Nigerians, Nigerians will tell you their challenge. They will carry camera and put it on the internet by themselves. And that is why I want to tell us, guys, nobody is allowed to drag a Nigerian except Nigerians by themselves. Let me give you an example, guys. You see, the, the lazy gangs, especially the black ugly and the mod pig modesta, they've been dealing with people, but immediately I step up to stand up for me. Have you ever had them say anything about me? Because they know I am a Nigerian like them and I know where to get them. So nobody is allowed to drag a Nigerian if you are not a Nigerian. And Ghana, because of your pity jealousy, you want to drag Nigeria? 
anything you are competing with Nigeria, and Nigeria is not even competing with you. That is the, 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 the most disturbing part of everything. You end up frustrating yourself if you want to, 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 to go into competition with Nigeria or Nigerians. That is just the truth. I am telling you, when the Maya end up deceiving these people, they came back and these people are now frustrated. When the Maya stop the lies, stop chasing people around. Everything he does is about class chasing. It's about chasing people, elected officers and celebrities. Guy, in Nigeria, we don't regard you if you are not having impact on people. And that is why today, guys, I regard Marwa because Marwa is having impact on people. Marwa does not chase celebrities around. Marwa does not chase elected officials around. But Wademaya does that. And low vibrational human beings are hailing him. They say, ah, this guy gave place. They hang out. They do this too with celebrities, with leaders, with that, with those. No. Nigerians can take up camera and speak against the ill in their country. They'll portray it in their country. But Ghana, they'll be romantic romancing things with their country. The light that you people bust up, that the Ghana has light, Nigeria does not have light. Who taught you? Nigeria is having better light than Ghana. But the truth is, Nigerians want, they want the best in things. They don't, a Nigeria doesn't want to manage. So when our government, they are not giving us the best, we take it upon ourselves to push them. And when we are pushing them, we let, them, we let the world know that nothing is working. But Ghana, they will be romanticizing things. They will be, they are going through hardship. They will be hailing their government. They will be saying, the Ghana is the best Ghana is that. Allow people to make their choice. Don't come to the internet and be deceiving them or you are talk, trash talking down on other countries so that you, you are painting your country in good light to come. They have, some, some of them have relocated. They, have, they are now in Africa and they have seen the truth. They have seen the light. So, why the lies always? Ghana, stop the lies. Allow people to come to the motherland on their own terms. Allow people to visit Africa on their own terms. Not when you put up camera and be saying all manners of things and lies against them. Nigeria does not compete with you. Nigeria is not competing with any African country. Even the whole white world, Nigeria is not competing with them. Nigeria is just what it wants. They want a platform to exhibit their follow come talent and gift and that is Nigeria for you but what am I he's always in competition with people competition with Marwa sponsored the hate speech on internet against Marwa you you come to Nigeria he will not tell you the truth about Nigeria he will be just be de -de 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 -de. Nigeria I hope you are made Yes, I want I want to I want to make you know Nigeria no you are made bro and Nigeria no go ever carry camera they put on they call people say men and call Nigeria if you like believe what you read about Nigeria in the media fine Nigerians don't care they don't have time to call you to convince you to bring to come to Nigeria no but I assure you once you come to Nigeria and you see Nigeria, you're gonna love Nigeria and you anger it back again. That is just the truth. And what am I? I want you to know that the lies has caught up with you. The lies you gave to the black people of American descent has caught up with you. Now the people are frustrated, they are angry, they are vexed, and they want to go back. They are hitting on the Ghanaian government. Yes. Americans, black Americans, stay in America. If you want to come to Africa to do business, fine. And if Africa favors you, fine. But don't come to Africa because some, you've seen somebody on the internet telling you to come to Africa, to come to motherland. In as much as I'm not in support of what they did to our great, 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 great grandparents that they were taken to the Americas via slave trade. It pains me, it saddens me that once, one time in our history as black people, 
We have to go through that. But that has become history and there's nothing we can do about that. We can't change it. So we have to embrace the reality. Settle and be the best of ourselves where we find ourselves today. So black Americans, if America is good for you, fine. Settle in America. If you want to embark on business, to invest on the motherland, come to the motherland, invest. And if you invest, you see that you are reaping the success of your hard work. If you want to relocate, relocate. Ghana, stop telling people to come to Ghana. Allow them to make their choice. They should be the ones to make their choice. If they want to relocate to South Africa, fine. If they are relocating to Namibia, fine. If they are relocating to Kenya, fine. If they are relocating to Nigeria, the Gambia, uh, Senegal, uh, Djibouti, Egypt, South Africa, and any other part of Africa, any country, people want or they wish to relocate to, they should relocate to. Not convincing them to come to Ghana by creating the year of return in 2021. What has the year of return achieved? Nothing. The policy is a big shame. It is a big disgrace. Today, the people are frustrated. They are calling out the Ghanaian government for deceiving them. Many people end up selling their life savings to relocate to Africa. Today, nothing to write home about. Guys, it's pathetic. You don't need to compete with Nigeria. Ghana. You don't. Remember, only Lagos. Lagos population is far way better than Ghana. Lagos population, Lagos is populated. Let me, you see, Cameroon. Yaoundé, Cameroon. Ghana as a country. And London, London, not England, not UK, just London as a city. The population of Lagos is far way better than them. These three places I've called for you. Population, only Lagos in Nigeria. More, we're talking about 36 states plus Abuja, which makes it 37. But it's 36 states we have in Nigeria. We don't count Abuja as a state. But if we are to include Abuja, we have 37 states in Nigeria. Just a single state. Ghana as a country, Cameroon as a country, and England, UK, London, I mean, guys, as a city, the population combined, these three places, two countries and a city population combined, is not up to Lagos population, not to talk of Nigeria. And you want to compete with Nigeria? Guy! Grace, they follow us. Guys, sorry, I'm not posting, but it pains me when my when my tends to, you know, bend things into fight always, and that has been the reason. They are all form of, they are jealous. It's it's it's, it's alarming. To end up this content, a special appeal to my black Americans. Special appeal to people of African descent in the Caribbean and any other part of the world. Please stay where you are if that is the best place. Don't come back to Africa. We are still battling with policies, with our government. Our government, they are insensitive to the plight of the citizens. So the Africa right now is not yet right. But the opportunities are there. The opportunities to scale up businesses are there. But when we, when we talk about incentives on part of the government towards the citizens, it's not there. But the opportunities to scale up business is here. If you want to come and do business, come and do business on the motherland and you make your money. That one is assured, confined, no two ways about it. You are going to make your money. And after doing business, you shuttle between here and America or the Caribbean or any other part of the world. And if you end up deciding to stay, then you not stay on the motherland. But nobody should deceive you that Ghana is good. There's constant electricity. Today, no constant electricity in Ghana. That's just the truth. So we shouldn't be deceived. My wonderful people from America, respect people, my people from Canada, UK, Kenya, Nigeria, United Arab Emirates, Jamaica, Germany, Trinidad, and Tobago. 
Guys, South Africa, welcome, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is the Pioneering YouTube channel, and my name is Priceless, guys. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for always turning up for our content. We love you. See us in our next content.